All right, let's get back to the feature table. The blinds up to three and six thousand. Casella and Mizraki have not been able to get too much going so far at this table. Both well under the tournament chip average of three hundred twenty-five thousand, and are two of the shorter stacks at this table. From first position, Chris Bjorn lays it down to Michael Mizraki on the Jack Links Beef Jerky Pocket Cam Ace Four Off. Grinder will lay that down over to Casella. With Pocket Kings. Five years ago, Casella was at a World Series final table with Johnny Chan. He had aces. Chan had queens. Johnny flopped a set. Casella wound up in fourth. Chan wound up with his tenth bracelet. With the Kings, Casella raises to 17,000. And by the way, the grinder was 23rd at that same event. It's a small world. Fold it over to the small blind. Tom Duong. Not Tom Duong. Pocket Queens. Duong helped pioneer a sport called tricking, which is a mixture of martial arts, gymnastics, and aerobics. That leaves me out on all counts. <laughs> and Duong with the Queens re-raises all in for 91,000 to the big blind, Yon Boy. Right move, wrong time for Duong. Ace Queen. Well, he's got a raise and a re-raise all in in front of him. What should he do? All in. All in? Wrong move, wrong time. <laughs> Casella calls all in, and he's in good shape to almost triple up. Nice. Two big hands and a hitchhiker. Casella and Duong at risk. Boy, looking for the double knockout. What a dream season it's been for Casella. This is his sixth cash at this World Series. Not I don't like to hear that, Michael. <laughs> I, I know, I'm superstitious, though. You know, it's one of those things. So he goes, oh, I don't know. Casella in a commanding position to do a lot more damage right here. So two players all in. Jan Boy with the one over card can still knock them both out. Tom Duong with pocket queens. Casella with kings. Boy with the ace queen. All right, here's the flop. It is seven. Queen trade. Duong set. Grabs control. Casella in trouble. Are you kidding me? A one-outer? Every time, please. And boy, the longest shot now. Casella still in the lead for the tiny side pot, but his main event is all but over. Duong in commanding position to triple up. One aces. Casella hurting the turn card. Four of I'm spades. Green. I'm green. Boy, with a flush draw, Duong suddenly sweating the river. I'm green. I have one out. Casella needs the king of hearts. You have a little more than him, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I guess I could win a side pot if he doesn't hit a spade. If boy hits a spade, it's a double knockout. Oh, it can't be! Another spade wow. in boys' flush knocks out both Duong and Frank Casella. Well, the worst hand won, and the better players are going home. Thanks. Appreciate it. Frank Casella's Dream World Series comes to an end in a devastating way. Jan Boy enjoying the moment. I was going to lose either way, obviously, so it didn't matter to me. That's all right. Got to gamble. Well, I felt the pain of that Good spade answer. up here, and I'm not even in the hand. Wow. What a hand. That was strong, baby. <sighs> this is good. New money, please. Darwin Moon with an accent. Oh, we my man. Boy, with almost half a million. Too hot. Is this gamble time? With Casella's elimination, the grinder can only dream of tying Frank for player of the year, but Mike's got a win. From Kentucky holds two aces. Stein flopped a pair of queens and checked. Powell bet 2,900, and now Stein check raises to 7,150. This guy looks like an actor who won't talk to me, and I don't recognize Sam Stein without his mother. <laughs> Powell makes a call for 4,250. Over 17,000 in the pot. Turn card is a two of hearts. Powell still best. Powell finished 66th at the 2009 World Series main event. Stein with a 9% hand moves all in and gets an immediate call from Powell. And Sam Stein in trouble. As we've seen him in previous events, he's going to need a so non-heart king or queen or he's gone. The river card now is a king. And Stein Rivers, two pair to crack Powell's aces. I thought Sam Stein's mom was his lucky charm. Feels like such a cool guy. So he apparently just carries his own. After that bad beat, Powell busted down to under 6,000, while Stein on the uptick now over. You should head over to the feature table for free beer. Get your 10 grand's worth. Elsewhere, Ray Romano has settled into his new table. He's concentrating on the poker, but he's not in the hand. In fact, there is a big hand developing between Justin Phillips and Motoyuki Mabuchi. Mabuchi made a bet after the river onto that scary board. Phillips now fires back with a raise. 
Says Justin Phillips bet the shirt off his back. <laughs> Action on Mabuchi. He's all in. Phillips turns over a royal flush. Royal flush. Mabuchi quad aces. You got to be kidding me. Quad aces, your last hand of the main event. What a way to hit the rail. There's nothing more ultimate than that. That is a statistical improbability, my friends. What a horrible river card for you. If you flop a set of aces, river quads, and lose, that's a bad beat. And Mabuchi does stumble out of the main event. Take a picture of that one, dude. Oh, that's good. Cool. That is just... If this happened to Phil Helmuth, the table would no longer be here. Coming down the table, sit down, boom. Four aces, royal flush. How many times are you going to see that? Uh, the chances of a royal flush in quads happening in the same hand, 1 in 2.7 billion. I like you. Yeah, you got to give some love to the dealer. <laughs> I get, a, I get a little credit too, right? That's it. Yeah, you and the cool. caveman, I know what yeah. happened. You're the man. I love Raymer. Yeah. He loves Greg Raymer? Everybody watch that show! <laughs> Greg Raymer has his own TV show? <laughs> wow, you got a famous TV star at your table, beat quad aces with a royal flush? Welcome to the main event. And there's what they all came to play for. More than 600 players have already been eliminated. The chip average right now about 37. Terrific. Day one, back over to our feature table where another former world champ having a rough time. Hashem below the starting chip stack of 20,000 right now. All day he just can't get into step here, and he's got to like this table. A bunch of World Series novices, not particularly well-dressed. Jim Cleveborg. And the pocket aces have found Cleveborg now. And he's going to raise it up to 1,600. Hashem now. And Hashem finally finds oh. a hand against Aces. Ace-King for Joe. What a bad time for Ace-King. Re-raise. Joe is going to re-raise it to 4,600. Joe keeps running into big hands. All right, action. Back to Klebeborg now. Yeah, it is a tough day gone bad for Joe Hashem. I'm all in. All in. And another big decision for Joe. This would be for all of Hashem's chips. Oh, cool. And Hashem calls all in. Oh, and a disaster for Joe Hashem. Aces again. And Klebeborg has a 2005 champ in a lot of hot water. Aces again, huh? That is sick. Huh? That is pretty sick. No, it's not. It's been happening for a month. Uh, it's not sick. Just the way it happens. Good luck, Jimmy. You don't need it, but I do. Jimmy doesn't look like he's the one holding pocket aces. Well, Hashem was knocked out on day three last year during the main event, but he was the one holding the aces. All right, now here's the flop. Hashem all in. The flop is 10. Queen Jack! Oh! oh. oh. Wow, a world championship oh. flop! Oh. Oh, and Jimmy needs some good luck now. Hashem flops Broadway. Love you! Love you! That'll change your mood. She looks as uncomfortable as my wife when I wave to her. <laughs> Hashem hasn't won it yet. Cleveland Borg's going to need some runners to knock him out. Turn card now. It is an eight of clubs, and Cleveland Borg can only chop it now, Norman. Hashem has survived his all in. Oh, I haven't cracked aces for so long. If I do it now, it'll be the first time. If a king comes on the river, they split the pot. Both would have an ace high straight. Otherwise, Hashem takes it all. It is a six of diamonds, and Hashem will take it all. Cleveland can only throw his hands up and surrender. But what a turnaround for the former world champ. He cracks aces, doubles up, and he'll be back for an encore. For Danny. Ah, c'est 7 de carreau. 7 de carreau, oh, Danny, il y va. Tapis. Il y va, il y va. Oh, il Et il pourrait y apprendre tous les risques maintenant. Mm. Chandor. Oh là, ça va être payé, ça. Oh, ça peut faire mal. Alors, est-ce qu'il colle ou est-ce qu'il fait tapis lui aussi D'accord. Il paye. Ouais. <rires> 8 et 4, on jette. Alors, le flop. Chacun a son as. As-3 contre As-7. Chandor, archi favori. Eh oui. Meilleur kicker pour Chandor, le flop. Un Danny extrêmement concentré, bien sûr. Il attend. 
Dani, il croit plus trop là. Il a enlevé ses lunettes. Ah, il a eu la réussite de sourire. Tout à mais... Le flop avec un roi et deux cinq. C'est fini là. C'est fini là. Un demi pour cent de chance de gagner Ça le coup. Ça fait pas beaucoup. Hein. Ça fait pas énorme. <rire> Il faudrait 2-7. Voilà. La seule chose pour le faire gagner, c'est 2-7. Et il y en a un. Il y en a un. Ah, il passe à 5%. Ça remonte. Ça remonte, ça remonte. Ça, remonte. Oh, ça serait énorme qu'il sorte le 7. Ça serait dingue. Oh non Oh là là, il est là Oh pas... le truc C'est pas vrai. C'est pas... une partie de fou. Hein. C'est une partie de dingue. Oh non voilà, Dani, je... il ne s'est même pas vu s'asseoir. Il est tombé sur sa chaise. Non, c'est pas possible. Quelle folie